Cool. All right, Haley. Thanks. Hey, Natasha. Thanks so much for being here. Um, we're going to start off with a question from Percy Allen. Go ahead, Percy. Thank you. Hey, Tosh, um, even though Asia, you know, had 20 points, does it feel like a win in the sense that she only went to the line four times and that you guys were able to keep them off of the line in general? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, we made sure that we know Vegas is really good at going to the free throw line. So we made sure that we was aggressive, but in a smart way to make sure they wouldn't get to the line that they normally do, how they was getting to the line during the regular season. So uh, kudos to like everybody that, that played phenomenal defense uh, on their person and also as a group as well for not letting Agent Wilson uh, get to the free throw line that she normally does. Thanks, Tosh. Um, next one here from Jeff Brown. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Tosh. Uh, congratulations on the win. Um, in game one, you had the six points. Today, 21 on nine of 10 shooting. Just talk to me about what was working so well for you offensively tonight. Or today. Uh, well, I had to bounce back from the last game. Uh, but uh, it's reading and reacting. It's playing my game. It's letting the game come to me. And just... Uh, He's bringing free out there. He's having fun. Uh, it's the final, you, you know, you want to make sure you relax and you're just having fun out there, like I said before, he's having fun. And just, uh, just being you and just knowing your role on the, on the, on the floor. Thanks, Tosh. Um, next one here from Rafiq Lusan. Go ahead. Hey, congratulations on the win. I want to know, like, what are your impressions about the team's overall performance in the first two games of the series? And what are your plans to finish off the Las Vegas Aces in game three this Tuesday? Uh, well, to start off with our captain, Sue Bird, just leading us. And uh, it goes on from the starting five all the way down to the players on the, on the bench as well. Uh, my team country band's been amazing uh, since we've been in this bubble. Uh, a team that, that knows their role and knows each other, how they play and stuff like that. Uh, it's amazing. And everybody know what they're capable of doing on the floor. Uh, so just our team chemistry overall, we, we've been playing with each other for three, four, five years and stuff. And some of us have been playing with each other for a year. So uh, just building that chemistry just since we've been here and stuff like that. So just incredible uh, feeling just to have that great chemistry on and off the floor too as well. Thanks so much, Natasha. Um, next one here from Larry Stone. Go ahead, Larry. Yeah, Natasha, I was just wondering, what, what is the feeling here being just one win away from the title? Uh, what's the attitude going into the next game? So going into the next game, uh, you know, we, we plan like we down 2-0 right now. So uh, we got to have that mindset, that hungry mindset that, that we down to and all, like I said, uh, just make sure we stay on that right path and make sure that everybody is focused and everybody's sharp. Uh, with practice and stuff and make sure we know what we need to do on every person. If we switch up schemes and stuff like that, we got to make sure everybody's on the same page coming to game three on Tuesday. Thanks, Tosh. Um, next one here from Jackie Powell. Go ahead, Jackie. Hey, Natasha. Thanks so much for being here with us. I want to know if you could talk to us a little bit about your teammate, AC, and how you've observed her balancing guarding Angel while also today finding a way to contribute offensively amid maybe a colder game in game one. Uh, well, you know, like AC, she's a, she's a good player on, uh, on both ends of the floor. Like, you know, she, she didn't have a good game in the uh, first game, you know, but she bounced back. Uh, that's that, that's one thing with AC. She, she know how to bounce back. She know how to move on to the next possession or, or move on from the next subject or whatever. Uh, and just, just having her play her game the way she did today is – it's great that uh, – it's great that the way she played today, like, we happy that she would be able to uh, contribute on both ends of the floor for us and also the way she guard Angel. Um uh, like we appreciate everything that AC does for us on both ends of the floor. Thanks, Natasha. Um, we've got another one here from Howard McDowell. Go ahead, Howard. Hey, Natasha, congratulations on the win. I'm wondering if somebody who 
saw Sue and Stewie up close in 2018 and is seeing them here in 2020, if you go by like their net rating as a duo, they are significantly better somehow in 2020 than they even were when you guys won the last championship. What do you account for that being? What are they doing better than they were doing the year that you guys last won at all? Um, <laughs> they're doing a lot of things uh, different what they did last season. Uh, Brianna's still doing her thing, but she also uh, doing 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 a lot on the defensive end too as well. Like she's doing she's doing both uh, things on both ends of the floor and just not on one side of the floor. That's 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 one thing I've seen from. Rihanna this year, just uh, the way she playing on both ends of the floor, and she's not letting nobody stop her on the offensive floor either. She's not. She's being mad aggressive. She's not settling. She's taking it to the hole. Like, and what uh, Sue Bird like? Hey, that's Sue Bird. Is Sue Bird. Like, she's gonna she's gonna do her thing no, no matter what. Thanks, Tasha. Awesome. Thank you so much, Natasha. Are there any more questions for Natasha? Okay, we'll let you go. Thank you so much, Todd.